Hello, and welcome to edition. Today is February the 11th, 2015. The title of this video is going to be on bad attitudes. You know, bad attitudes do not go with God. You know, you could say you're cool if you do something wrong. And on this earth, if you do something wrong to somebody else that's not right, and you feel good and happy about it, it makes you feel better if you call names and insult people. On this earth, you may get away with it. But later in life, you are going to have to stand before God on Judgment Day. And there's nothing in the world you can do about it. That goes for anybody, believer and unbeliever. You see, that's a problem we have nowadays. There's too many people with bad attitudes. They don't want to change their way. They like being bad. We live in a society nowadays where bad is good and good is bad. So true. By the way, the world has just gone, not uphill, but downhill. With the bad attitudes of our life. People want to follow the devil, not God. People want to follow the worldly ways of living. There's so many labels and games that's of the devil, not of God, and other things of that nature. I was thinking, you know, right now as I'm talking to you, how people like stuff they're wrong, such as a wrestler, Stone Cold Steve Austin, all he does is cuss. And because he does that rawness, people follow that. People like seeing other people flick each other off. They think that, think of that as a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke at all. And if he was in wrestling in the 80s, that wouldn't go well with him. And most wrestlers are not Christians. And if some are, then it's hard for me to believe it. But we need to preach about God no matter what people say or think about us. Because God is the truth. God is the life. No one comes unto the Father but by me. And that verse makes a lot of us younger Christians mad because then it reminds us in our lives of our heirs in our lives. That's why as Christians we need to fix our heirs. We need to build back that bridge. So that Satan cannot enter our lives. So many times Satan wants to trick us into doing wrong instead of right. You need to avoid the devil and his attacks. Because the more we avoid the devil, the more we're closer to God, close to the Holy One. So if you're one of those individuals out there that likes to flick people off just for fun, or make fun of somebody just for fun, think about what God would do. Think about what Jesus would do. Would Jesus flick somebody off? Hmm? Would Jesus flick somebody off? Would Jesus call somebody a name? You know, God did not build a hell for nothing. I believe God has spoken to a lot of people that I've seen in my life tell them about Jesus, but for some reason, they just make the excuse why they don't follow. Quit making excuses, start following the Lord. Take care and God bless.